Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Very good. Nice. Did you work today or did you stay at home? I stay at home. Okay. I stay uh, home. Okay. Do you wake up late? No. Uh, no, at 7.30 a.m. Okay. Do you wake up with, with an alarm or by yourself? With by myself. Okay. Good. So, 7.30 is a good time. Yeah. And when you go to work, what time do you wake up? At 7 a.m. Huh? 5 a.m. 5 a.m. And you, Nelly? At 7.30. So, you always get up at 7.30? Yeah. Okay. Good, good. All right, so let's begin. Um, what's today's date? Today is Wednesday, March 25th. Exactly. Today is Wednesday, March 25th. That is correct. All right, do you remember the activities we did yesterday? And the simple past? Yes, the simple past tense. That is correct. Um, what's the auxiliary we use when we talk about the simple past tense? Did. The auxiliary good. did. did. Very good. We use did. Now, what is the form that we use if the information is negative? Didn't. 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 Okay, what happens to the verb? What is the form? The base form. Base form, very good. Very good. Now, what happens when the information is positive? Do I need an auxiliary? No. No. So, what is the form of the verb? The verb, verb past in form. the past form. Very good. The verb is in the past form. Very good. Any questions there? So how do you say que hiciste hoy? No. What do you do? Yes. Today? Exactly. What did you do today? What did you do today? Uh-huh. How do you say, que comiste hoy? What did, what did you, you eat today? today? What did you eat today? Uh -huh. How do you say, donde fuiste? Hello? Okay, how do you say, donde fuiste? People, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so how do you say, donde yes. fuiste? Where did you go today? Exactly. Where did you go? Where did you go? How do you say, que compraste? What did you buy? What did you buy? Exactly. How do you say a quien vistes? Nelly, Cecilia, Eric, Vladimir. A quien vistes? How do you say a quien vistes in English? See. One more time. What did you see? Who did you see exactly? Who did you see? Who did you see? 
¿A quién viste? Ajá. How do you say, ¿por qué dijiste eso? Why did you say that? Very good. Why did you say that? Uh -huh. ¿A dónde lo enviaste? Where did you send it? Where did you send it? Perfect. Very good. Nice. So today we have a review related, well, not a review, but we will reinforce how to use negatives, positives, and question form in, um, in, in the past tense. Any questions before we start? No? No. All right, so let's begin no. with the first activity. We have this here. So, how do you say reforzar in English? Reforzar. Reinforce. 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 Let me put it in the chat, in the WhatsApp chat. Uh, it says reinforce. Reforzar. So we will reinforce the different things we were doing. So how many pictures do we have? Six pictures. Six, Six pictures, exactly. For every picture, there is one positive sentence and one negative. Do you see the first picture? Yes. yes. Okay, so we have one positive and we have one negative. So what is the first sentence in the first picture? I did, I did my homework. My homework. I did my homework. And the second one? I didn't do laundry. I didn't do laundry. Okay, good. Now, how do you say, se me olvidó lavar la ropa? I forgot to wash my clothes. I forgot to wash my clothes. Very good. I forgot to wash my clothes. Or you can say, I forgot to do laundry. Uh -huh. How do you say, no compré el jabón? I didn't, I didn't buy, buy the soap. The oh, good. I didn't buy the soap. I didn't buy the soap. Como puede ver, ahí le agregamos una positiva y una negativa a la misma figura. Picture number two. You got up at noon. ¿Qué dice ahí? You got up at noon. Tú te levantaste, te levantaste al, mediodía. al mediodía. Al mediodía. And the negative one says, you didn't get no. up at 10. You didn't get up ¿Qué dice at ahí? 10. No te levantaste no. a las 10. Levantaste a las 10. Ajá. How do you say se te olvidó poner la alarma? You forgot to put the alarm. Put the alarm. Okay, what, what, is, what is the past tense of forget? Forgot. Forgot. So how do you say, usted se le olvidó poner la alarma? You forgot, I forgot to put the alarm. alarm. You forgot to put the alarm. How do you say, no me hiciste caso? You didn't listen to me. Listen to me. Exactly. You didn't listen to me. You didn't listen to me. Very good. Picture three. We went to the museum. He went to the museum, sorry. He didn't go to the library. Museum. Museum. Okay. 
Can you give me can you give me one positive sentence for that picture? He went to visit the museum. Very good. Okay, so he went to visit the museum. How do you say el fue solo? How do you say solo in English? Alone. Exactly. Alone. He, went alone. he went alone. He went alone. How do you say él no fue con su novia? Good. Didn't go with his girlfriend. Picture number four. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. Una positiva que vaya ahí a esa foto. How do you say nos reunimos en el centro? We meet in, we meet. in the... Okay, what is the past tense of meet? Met. 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 How do you say nos reunimos Met. en el centro? We met in the downtown. 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 Yes. We met downtown. Okay. How do you say no fuimos al cine? We didn't, we didn't go to the cinema. Good. We didn't go to the cinema. We didn't go to the movies. We didn't go to the theater. Very good. Picture number five. You came home late. ¿Qué le dice ahí? Que llegaron. Viniste tarde, Carlos. Ajá, usted vino tarde. And you didn't come home early. <laughs> How do you say? No viniste temprano. Ajá. How do you say? No respetaste lo acordado. How do you say respetar in English? Respect. 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 Ahí se los pongo en el chat ahorita. Respect. Respect. So, how do you say usted no respetó lo acordado? How do you say acordar o estar de acuerdo? Ya la han oído. Yo sé que ya la han oído. Be agree. Ok, solamente agree, sin be. Oh, agree. So, el pasado de agree, the past you... tense of agree is agreed. Agreed. So, how do you say agreed. usted no respetó lo acordado? You didn't respect. You didn't respect. Agree. You didn't agree. What we agreed. Agree. Oh. You didn't respect what we agreed. How do you say, a usted se le olvidó lo que dijimos? A usted se le olvidó lo que dijimos. You forgot, you forgot you. that, you uh, you forgot that we, we says what we said. We said. You said. forgot what we said, o por alguien ahí dijo también, you forgot what we talked. También puede decir, you forgot what we spoke. So, talk, speak, uh, they are synonyms. Okay. And the last one, they had a picnic, they didn't have a party. How do you say ellos trajeron sandwich? How do you say they traer bring, in English? Uh, bring. Bring. Okay, bring. What is the past tense of bring? Brought. Ahí les va. 
bring. Can you write? Sure. Brought. Ahí está. Bring, brought. Está en el chat de WhatsApp. Bring, brought. So how do you say, ellos trajeron sandwich? They brought sandwiches. Okay, they brought sandwiches. How do you say, no trajeron cerveza? They they, they, they bring, bring beers. Beers. Uh -huh. beers. Oiga bien, they didn't bring beer. beer. When the information is positive, then you use the past uh -huh. form of the verb. But if it's negative, the verb stays base form. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Any questions here? No question. Preguntas, preguntas. Okay, ahorita les mando. I'll send you the image right now para que la tenga ahí de referencia. Ta -da -da. And now our next exercise is about this. Okay, do you see the image? Yes. Okay. Yes. Is it legible? Yes. No. Is it legible? Yes. Está legible. Yes. Okay. So, so, so. <laughs> okay, this is the image la que usted va a trabajar ahorita en parejas. Ahorita le puede agarrar captura de pantalla en su computadora y de todas maneras ahorita se los mando al chat de WhatsApp, al que se le haga más fácil a usted. So, I'm going to put you guys in pair. Ahí tiene las oraciones. Su misión es decir exactamente lo mismo, pero en tiempo pasado. Ya sabemos cómo decir el positivo, el negativo y cómo hacer preguntas. So, look at number one. He goes to bed early. Él se va a la cama temprano. What is your mission? To say the same information in past tense. He went to bed early. Number two, we don't like onions. You use exactly the same information, but you use it in past. So you say, we didn't like onions. Okay, uh, are the instructions clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. So déjeme lo pongo a trabajar en parejas. Go here, breakout rooms. And I will have three pairs right now. Let's go. Ah. Hold on, there. Okay. It's talent on the internet. Okay, go ahead. Vancouver, Vancouver, ¿eh? Ok, Vancouver. Stewart lives in Vancouver. Stewart lives in Vancouver. En negativo pasado sería... ¿O solo pasado? 
Um, Leave. Uh, yeah, it's only positive in past. Okay. Así como está la pregunta, ¿verdad? Exactly. Si es pregunta, usted la hace pregunta. Si es negativo, usted también la hace negativo. Okay. Good. So, no. Es, si were new como K N E W el pasado. Teacher. What number? Do you say no? Saber. Yeah. Pamela, seven, Pamela number is, seven. is correct. It, the past tense of new. no is new. Correct. Uh, yes, the past, the past tense of no. Exactly. Okay. Uh, number eight, I forgot his name. Mm -hmm. They didn't study history. Okay. Did they drive? Jenny work? Very are live. Live. Yes. Next one, uh, Vladimir. Number four. Okay. Eh, creo que sería did did she exercise? Yes, I, yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah. What did number? She, uh, number four. four. Did she exercise? Yeah, did she? Did she exercise? Did she. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay, next one. I hate cooking. I... What is the past tense of hate? Um, I don't know. Hate it. It's, it's regular, no. Regular, okay. regular, ED. Ah. What's the answer? He knew the answer, Seria. He knew. Es el pasado de no. Pasado de no es new, I think. Solo la E cambia como una E. La O cambia E. Yeah, but yeah. letter S disappears. Uh, okay, disappears. So he knew. He knew. Teacher, ¿verdad que el verbo hate don't change? It changes. Hate is regular. The past tense of hate is hated. 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 Just hated. add D. Hated. 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 Okay. Yes. Thank you, teach. Sure, no problem. Hey, news. Hey, ask. Number, hey. number uh, eight. I forget his name. His name, okay. I forgot his name. Cecilia, next one. They don't study history. They studied history. But it's negative. They didn't. Uh -huh, como es ne oh, okay. Si es negativo, lo estamos eh, tratando al presente o no. But what is the past tense of don't? Study. The past tense of don't? Vladimir or Melvin? What? Did. The past tense of don't. Did not or didn't. didn't. Very good. Didn't. Didn't. So, Cecilia, what is the complete answer? Um, la verdad. En este caso, como estamos en negativo, solo lo tengo que pasar a, a lo que es el verbo y agregarle el did. Ok, but give us the answer. D deme la, la, la respuesta. They don't study history. Didn't study history. Very good. Quitamos el don't y le ponemos didn't. Very didn't. good. Okay. Very good.
es que... Eh... ¿Terminaste? You guys finished? No, teacher. Not yet. Mm -hmm. No. Not yet. Okay, what number are you doing? Uh, hasta el número 10. Okay, good. So we have about three more minutes. Go ahead. Okay. Jenny worked at... Like the movie. Where did you live? They didn't drink tea. They start to laugh at eight. Peter, ¿cómo pronunciamos start en pasado? Started. 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 La regla dice que si la terminación es un sonido T o D, la ED se pronuncia tal como se escribe. Started. Started. Okay. Y, y hate, ¿cómo se pronuncia? En... Which one? Hate. Right. De, odi Hate de odiar. Hated. Hated. Yes. Cuando usted dice odiar, usted dice hate. What is the last sound? Vowel. T. T. Hate. T -t -t. Hate. Y dice la regla que si termina en T o en D, se pronuncia una sílaba adicional. So you say hated. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, did he eat breakfast? Yes. Okay. Um, the next one. Where do you live? Where do you live? Where did you live? Where did you live? Okay. Where is Chile? They don't drink tea and didn't they drink tea? Repeat, please, Cecilia. Did they? The old answer, please. They don't drink tea. Yes. They did. What number are you doing? Day 20. Uh, Day number 15. 15. Oh, they don't drink tea. What is the past tense of that? What is the complete negative sentence? They didn't drink tea. They didn't drink tea. Yes. El verbo se va a conjugar solamente cuando está confirmando. No si es negativo, no si es pregunta. Okay. Yes. Very good. Next one, Vladimir. Okay. Sería la D. You guys finished? Si algo pasó, no, ya no pudimos seguir. Why? Se terminó el tiempo. <laughs> oh. Okay, so let's return to the main session. Okay, um, can you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay, I need a volunteer for number three. Nelly, what's number three? Yes. Stewart lived in Vancouver. Very good. Pamela, number four. Did she exercise? Good. Vladimir, number five. Excuse me? Can you tell us the answer number? number five? Okay. I hate cookie. Okay, what is the past tense of hate? Hated. 
Hate it. Hate Very good. I hated cooking. Okay, I hated cooking. So I... when I was single, I hated cooking. Cooking. Yes. Okay. Number I six. A, I have a question yes. about number five. Yes, Pamela. Um, está escrito, eh, I hate cooking. Yes. Eso es en presente. Yes. ¿Verdad? Pero en pasado, nosotros cambiamos el verbo, pero la palabra cooking se mantiene con ING. Se mantiene el ING, sí, correcto. Porque en ese caso el ING no está vinculado al presente continuo, sino que es una manera general de decir las cosas. Ah, ok. okay. So you said, I hated cooking. Odiaba cocinar. Ah, ok. Yes. Thank you. Sure. Vladimir, what's number six? Okay. Mm, 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 they played they played video games. Good. Melvin, what's number seven? He knew the he knew the answer. Yeah, he knew the answer. Number eight, Cecilia. I forgot his name. I Forgot his name. Good. I forgot his name. Number nine, Julius. They didn't study history. Good. Nelson, what's number ten? Well, they. True. Number ten. Don't. Don't they? Don't they? True. They. Mm, is it question negative? Or positive, Nelson? Positive. Es una pregunta, la número 10. Do they drive? Mire, ellos manejan. ¿Cómo lo voy a hacer en tiempo pasado? ¿Cómo le voy a preguntar si ellos manejaron? ¿Cuál es el auxiliar que ocupamos para hacer Did. preguntas? Did, Did, exactly. Very good. Did they drive? Very good. Eleven, Did Nelly. Drive. Jenny worked at a hotel. Very good. Pamela, number 12. I mean, yeah, 12. Did you swim? Good. Vladimir, what's the next one? We didn't like the movie. Melvin? Where did you live? Cecilia? Didn't drink tea. Good. Julius? They started class at eight. Very good. Nelson? He eat breakfast. Very good. Nelly, 18. I didn't run fast. Pamela? He, oh, he had a car. He had a car. It was the last one, Vladimir. Did you enjoy sports? Very good, nice. Okay, do we have any questions about that exercise? No? No. All right, that's good. You guys are doing really, really well. Aparte que esto no es nuevo para ustedes. Que ya vienen algo trotados. Okay, so, um, you see the picture? No. You, you don't see the picture? No. Okay, give me a second. Share. Share. Do you see the picture? Do you see the picture? Hello? Yes. 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 All right. What do you see in the picture? What do you see there? A river. Woman. A river. Very good. Woman. Two guys. Pine trees. Okay, so you there are two women talking. They're speaking. 
what is the conversation about? Pamela says they are in a river. What sport are they practicing? Hiking. Okay. Rafting. Rafting. Uh, rafting. Yes. Raf Can you? Hi hiking is or escalar. No. Hiking is caminatas. Okay. Hiking, hiking. Yes. Can you practice this sport in El Salvador? Drafting. Drafting, sorry. No. no. Yes. Are you sure? Metapan. Yes. You can practice this in Rio Lempa. <laughs> really? Yes. I don't remember exactly what part of El Salvador, but there is one part where Rio Lempa is perfect for this sport. Yes, Rio Paz también. Okay, good, good. Yes, yeah, so you can practice this uh, sport. It's an extreme sport. Have you ever practiced any extreme sport? Nunca, yeah. nunca, yeah. nunca yes. se han disparado la, la adrenalina yes. al máximo. Yes, yes, sí. yes. canopy. Yes. Canopy. Yes. Okay, good. Any other stream sport? Rafting. Rafting. Ah, so you practiced rafting before? Eh, un par de veces. A couple of times. Is it exciting? Julius, is it exciting? Uh, yes. Okay. Where did you practice? Hello? Where did you practice? A, a river pass. Pass river. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. Any questions or comments about the uh, about the picture, lo demás que cuál fue el dijeron qué otro extreme sport have you practiced? Canopy. Canopy. Okay. Alguien ha practicado bungee jumping? Mm -mm. No. 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 Skydiving? No. Que se no. que se lanzan desde un avión y vienen como que son uh. bombas para abajo. No. 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 Hang gliding? Do you no. know hang gliding? No. no. Es que es como una piscucha gigante y se va a tirar allá a los planes de renderos a la puerta del diablo. No. Oh my God. <laughs> That's hang gliding. Only traveling be my cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Cuando va guindado en la coaster, dice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's extreme. <laughs> yeah, and the 45. Yeah. <laughs> Mire, parece mentira y varia gente se ha muerto ahí por ir guindados. Sí. Yes. That's very dangerous. Anyways, okay, any questions about the picture? No? No. Okay, so just like we always do, I'm going to read the conversation one time. If you have any questions about pronunciation or meaning, you let me know. We have Laura and we have Erica. Pay attention. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses, and we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Questions? Questions, questions? Rod, is the pass of ride, teacher? Exactly. Is eh, montar caballos. Yes, exactly. Oh. Montamos a caballos. 
What else? What is the meaning of white water? Like in, in a river. The expression we also white. Yeah, white water, like uh, water. aguas limpias, por decir así. Okay. Yeah, white water. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No? Is everything clear? Yes. How do you say Grand Canyon? Canyon? Yeah, Grand Canyon. Canyon. Grand Canyon. Okay. That is one of the main uh, tourist attractions in the United States, the Grand Canyon. Yes. Yep. Anything else about the picture or the conversation? No. No. Okay, so I need two volunteers to read this part, please. Laura, where are you, Laura? Laura. No vino Laura. Laura no está. Okay, y Lauro. Tal vez Lauro sí. Okay, thank you, Vladimir. You're Laura. In Erica? Uh, <laughs> Erica. Okay. Okay. Erico. Okay, Erico. Thank you. Thank you, Julius. You're Erico. Okay. One, two, three, go. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and, and I went to Arizona. We right. saw the, the Grand Canyon. Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Canyon. Oh, yes. We, I love it. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No. We didn't actually. We rode horse. And I, we also went water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes. We did. We had a great time. All right, good. Any questions here? So look at the first line. Fíjense en la primera línea, le están haciendo una pregunta. Para hacer la pregunta, ocupo el auxiliar did. Y did ya se encargó que todo esté en pasado. Por esa razón es que el verbo se queda en su forma base. Second part, my sister and I went to Arizona. Ahí estamos confirmando, entonces el verbo va en tiempo pasado. Vuelve a preguntar Laura, did you like it? ¿Te gustó? So you use auxiliary did and the verb stays face form. Ahí le dice en tiempo pasado, we loved it, nos encantó. Vuelve a preguntarle a Laura y le dice, Did you go hiking there? Que si se aventó alguna caminata. Y le dice, No, no, we didn't. Montamos a caballo. Montar se dice ride. And the past tense of ride is road. Ride. Road. Road. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Y también fuimos rafting en el Rio Colorado. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Any questions there? No. No. Okay. Y si yo le cambio last summer aquí y le pregunto a usted... Did you go anywhere last December? What would be your answer? Did you go anywhere last December? No, I stayed at home. Okay, no, I stayed at home. Alguien salió del país el diciembre pasado? No. No. Nobody? O de San Salvador. Mm. 
No. Do you do, do you have Christmas vacation? Do you have Christmas vacation? No. No. En algunos lugares solo le dan tres días, dos días. Trabajan en, en horario normal. Okay. Any questions about this? Yo sí, trabajo. Okay. Yeah, dependiendo en el rubro donde está, hay áreas que no se detienen para nada. Inclusive es cuando más trabajan. Anything else? Yes. Algo más? Any questions? Questions, questions? I guess mm. not. Me imagino que no. So, vamos a hacer one last mm. exercise before we go. This one here. Okay. You see the image? Do you see the image? Yes. Ven la imagen. Yes. Yes, okay. Creo que ya están durmiendo ustedes. ¿no? <laughs> ya están cabeceando. What's the past tense of C? So. So, the past tense of B? Was. Or? Was. Was. Where. 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 No, it's not where, it's word. 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 Was word. Was word. word. Yes, was word. 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 Ok, déjeme le escribo algo ahí en el chat. So you say where? Word. Where? Word. Can you see your chat? Yes. Er, okay. Word. Where were? Where were? Where, where is word. for places. Were word. is the past tense of be. So how do you say donde estabas? Where, where do you where. work? Where uh -uh. do you work? Where, uh, where, where are you? you Ah, uh -uh. ah. Where did you be? Ahí está en el chat. Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Y fíjese bien cómo se lo pregunto. Where were you? Where were you? Yo, no, yo, no, yo no digo where were you. No, yo digo where were you. Where were you? El qué? Cuando pronuncia. Está robotizada. Ajá, oh. sí, se le escucha sí. casi todo. Sí, y tiene razón. Desde un inicio noté que el, el internet está un poco malo. Uh, where were you? Where were you? Exactly. Where were you? Where were you? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Hagamos de caso que Melvin llega a la una de la mañana a su casa. Lo primerito que le van a preguntar es, where were you? <laughs> y no contento. Where were you? Where were you? Where were, Where you? were you? I was working. Exactly. I was in traffic. I was in traffic. <laughs> Imagine traffic at one in the morning. <laughs> okay. So be careful with that. You say, where were you? Where were you? What is the past tense of have? Have. Eat. Eight. 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 Walk. Eight. Walk. 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 Walk.
walked. By. Walked. Read. 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 Se escribe exactamente igual, pero la pronunciación cambia. Present, you say read. Past, you say read. Read, read. Study. 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 Drink. Drunk. Drunk. Uh -uh. The past tense of drink. Drunk. Drunk. Drink. 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 Suena como una E. Drink, drink. 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 Uh -huh. Drink. Drink, drink. Go. When. 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 Use. 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 Used. 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 Yes. Used. Ok. Vamos Used. a ver. Sin, sin tanto Used. cuento. Volunteer for letter B. She pizza last night. Cualquier pregunta hágame con eso en la letra B. She ate pizza But last it, night. Ok, ok. It, it's a question. Did she? Did she eat pizza last night? Did she eat pizza oh, last night? Did. Okay, very good. Letter C. Did they play tennis? Very good. Did they play tennis? Letter D. Did your teacher... How do you say that in English? Dar. Give. 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 Entonces, ¿cómo le va a preguntar si su maestro le dio examen? Did your teacher give you a test? Very good. Letter E. Did we pay the bill? E. Letter E. E as in no. echo. Did you study, Did you for, study the for the exam? Nice. Letter F. Did we pay the bills? Perfect. Letter G. No necesariamente Did tiene you que ocupar. read that book? Uh, Did your sister G. went? G. Uh, Did your you sister bring? Did you buy you a Good. Present. Did your sister buy, buy you a present? Como le vuelvo a repetir, no necesariamente tiene que usar los verbos que están arriba. Usted puede ocupar cualquiera siempre y cuando tenga sentido la pregunta. What about letter H? Did you read that book? Very good. Letter I. Did they play the game? Very good. And the last one, letter J. Anybody? Did he went to the library? Did he go to the library? Very good. Oh, yes. Did he go to the library? Okay, good. Nice. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about today? No. No question. No. Okay, so thank you very much. So tomorrow we have our last session for this week. Thanks for your time and have a good night. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night, Bye. Sleep well. Sleep well. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.